Provenance. Noun. The place where something originally comes from. So welcome to Provenance. The next piece we're going to talk about ties in with the last piece we spoke about. And actually that means I have to show it in this order now. So let me just pull this out and show you. If you watched the last episode, you'll know I was speaking about a residency I did called P3 Studio. But actually the title of the show I created was called Record and Play. And the idea that I was recording pieces of people. So for example, collecting something that they left behind, collecting Polaroids of them, and also collecting portraits of them. I've always been really scared of drawing people or drawing things in real life. So I wanted to challenge myself. And so this was back in 2015. And so when people came into the space, they would sit across from me, they would sit opposite me, and I would draw them and they would draw me. So we're gonna have a look in here and I think there's some of those drawings in here. So we have a bunch of Polaroids. So these were Polaroids that people took in this space. That's a fun one. It was in October, so I had my birthday there. So I had some birthday balloons, which people put to good use. Okay, so let's open these up. So as I was saying, I've always been scared to draw people and so I wanted to use this residency as a way of conquering my fears. And so these are some portraits that I drew of guests, of visitors, of strangers that came in. Maybe I'll just lay them out like this. Okay, there we go. So the, the funny thing about this is that when I first started to draw people, I was trying to imagine how people draw people. I was trying to imagine doing a really detailed portrait. And the results initially was something like this. I'll hold it up. So this is Daniel. Not my best work ever, but that was because I was trying to be someone else. I was trying to draw like someone else. And then I realized that I'm not someone that draws portraits, I'm someone that draws lines. And so once I realise that, I relax a little bit more. And if you come and have a look, you can see that the lines then started to really flow, then started to feel really free. The lines started to feel more like me, more like my drawing. So you can almost guess the order that I drew these in based on how relaxed or calm they feel. I don't know what the best angle is, but I'll, I'll flick through these. So these, you know, so right here are the portraits that I drew of everyone, and these are their portraits of me. So I'll just flick through here. Chantelle. And it's really nice to see everyone's different approach. And I love that idea of when people say I can't draw, it's like you can draw, we all did it as children. And so this was a really fun exercise in me getting out of my comfort zone, but also all of these people taking that challenge, taking that risk, and getting out of their comfort zone and drawing me. So let, let me have a look, see if I can find a favorite portrait of me. Let's have a look. I think I saw one that I really liked by Jacqueline. Let's see if I can find it. I like this one. It's cute, it's simple. It features, you know, it, it's got my mole, my earring, my hair, my shirt. It's a pretty solid portrait, so I, I like that one. 
But then, the, you know, there's some other fun ones where, you know, perhaps it's it's more drawn. Someone showing some skills there. So some of these portraits are missing because they're being exhibited now at a museum show called New Now at the New Britain Museum of American Art in Connecticut. But all of them I'm turning into a book, I'm turning into a zine, and you can also buy that at the Whitney Museum shop from sometime in November or December. And depending where this comes out, you can still buy it now in 2021. So it's really great. Like you can collect these, you can enjoy them, you can use these as inspiration to go out there and create your own portraits. You can use it as inspiration to encourage other people to draw you and create portraits of you. So I, I love these. I love these because it's different from what I'm usually doing. It was a little bit of a challenge for me. And it's something, maybe I should try this again. Maybe I'll draw you. Okay, so let's put these away. So this one I probably drew first. This one I'm guessing I drew second. And then I'm guessing, now it gets tough. Maybe this one was a third. And then these could have been done in any order. I think this was probably an earlier one. And then you can see I start to get into the flow, start to find those nice lines. So there's Elliot, lives in LA, great musician. And Christian, I guess this was Jacqueline who drew one of my favorite portraits of me. But I, this is one of my favorite projects, I think. And then just all the portraits of everyone, all the Polaroids as well for people that came in the space. That's Hillary. Nice. 